You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your what it is, y'all? We back with another episode of the Get It Off Your Chest podcast. I'm your host, Terry. Fellas with me in the building. Let them know who y'all are, man. <laughs> we back. We back in the motherfucking building. Motherfucking we building. We are back. Man. It's your boy, CJ. Get Off Your Chest podcast. Yes, sir. Hey, we about to do the damn thing. Let's go. Hell yeah. What's up, Rhino? Yo, what's... Keep going. Yo, nigga. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Rhino. <laughs> It's your boy Rhino. He said my name already, but on season two. hey, the two niggas is in the studio and we chilling. <laughs> hey, bro, another we, episode of Get It Off Your Chest podcast and let's go. We like sixty something episodes in, and Rhino still this fucking up on his intro. This shit can't even get his motherfucking name right, nigga. Nah. <laughs> hey, honestly, you gonna say one... my name? I was, I was, I was ready. Hey, episode five though, your intro, episode five, bro. You need to go back and watch that and keep that intro because you was hella smooth. You was hella smooth on that one. Yeah, nigga, fucking nervous, nigga. And also, shout out to Evan in the building. Evan is our Evan audience is member. Evan is in the back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, what's up, bro? What's up, people? You know, it's Evan, you know, a.k.a. Mama, there goes that man. A.k.a. <laughs> E-Money, a.k.a. He gets buckets. How y'all doing? <laughs> A.k.a. We got you in the background, y'all. In the, in the background. Y'all gonna hear him giving us feedback, too, man, just in case y'all wondering, man. Yeah, but yeah, we in here, man. We in this motherfucker. Y'all know how this go. We get shit off our chest, whether it's been a day, a week, a month, a year. How the fuck we feel like getting off our chest? We get off chest. We really just don't give a fuck, man. But make sure. I'm going to keep pushing this shit. Make sure y'all go back and check out Sports Talk Episode 3. That was my go favorite check episode go check that out. of Sports Talk, man. Hey, that, that episode <laughs> took me back, bro. It took me back to my childhood. Y'all took us man. back. That shit was clean. Like, going yeah. back to the history of all the old basketball yeah. players from, like, the 90s. Man, make late, sure y'all go check that out. It is the late no. 2000s, mainly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With, like. Bro, yeah. that shit, t- especially talking about. You said Ben Wallace, man, man, that, that brought back. When y'all said Ben Wallace. You, you said Ben Wallace, that brought back everything, man. I was like, I forgot all about him. Man, <sighs> Big Ben was a beast. Tracy yeah, McGrady, number one. Number Just, one, bro. Like, hey, you know ben ben I, who I forgot to mention ah, on that motherfucker? <laughs> I forgot about Steve Francis. Steve. Y'all didn't say Oof. Gary Payton either. Gary Payton? Yeah, I said, we didn't say Gary Payton. That's like Gary Payton. Gary Payton was like towards the end. He like towards the end. Like Y'all didn't say Reggie Miller. But Reggie mm-hmm. Miller was another mm-hmm. one that was like towards the, no, we towards the end. Towards the end of his career. <laughs> so what's in, wrong? In the 2000s. What's wrong with Dennis Rodman? One of the best defensive hey, players the, in, the, in the motherfucking world. In the, yeah. That's in the late uh, 90s, though. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Late that's 90s, late nineties, bro. Early two thousands was that. That was the AI Kobe era. Uh, well, y'all, well, y'all that. went, y'all went to like nineties and y'all moved through the through the two we thousand. Late nineties, they did. They moved to yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, yeah. We, yeah, man, go check, go check it shout out. Shout out, man. Shout out, and and Let's to go. all my basketball heads that check that out. If y'all ever want to revisit that same episode, and we talk, about, I, I love talk about that. I can talk about the year two thousand all all my fucking yeah, day. Yeah. So man, y'all, we get a panel on here, man, and we can do the damn thing, but. Make sure you go check mm-hmm. out Sports Talk episode three. And I don't know if he checked it out yet. Uh, shout out to Richard, one of my new uh, co-workers to work with. This young guy, you know, he's a basketball player. He plays like you do. He plays, uh, what is it, in the leagues? Yeah. On the weekends, he play in the leagues. You know what I'm saying? I told him about it. You know, told him to check it out. So hopefully he check it out. But yeah, man, everybody, if y'all in the basketball, y'all in the sports, bro, make sure y'all check out Sports Talk. They three episodes in. It's featuring Rhino, featuring CJ, and they tearing it up, man. Make sure y'all go check that out for real. And also, Motivational Mondays. This Motivational Monday, we got Miss Rashida Jari. Hashtag everything in the building. So make sure y'all check that out. That's going to be out. Well, this come out Tuesday. So make sure y'all check that out. It's coming out Monday. So shout out to everybody that loves yeah, Ross. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm trying to get Miss Ross in for episode what? It's going to be Motivational Monday episode Motivation, four yeah, for her. Yeah. It come on Friday. So yeah. we're going to get that going. But we got to give a shout out to our sponsors, man. Shout them out. Shout out to yeah. the truth, man. Black the black slash off your chest for that what? A ten percent discount. <laughs> and then you know, like like always, let me give up. Let me stand up here. Let me get another. Gotta shout give a out. shout out to Cuz. To Cuz though for the you know what I'm saying, making the making our shirts and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Y'all, I got the get red. it off your chest, I got man. The, the logo. Red. Y'all see it. <laughs> Y'all see, you got the red on black, you know what I'm saying? So, cuz doing work, man. He's been doing a lot of different shirts. I got more colors, man. And 
we we got a special color that we gonna have. Mm-hmm. Then we gonna we gonna make it for purchase, bro. But right now we just promoting our, yeah. you know what I'm saying, promoting us for cause when you get his shirt business off the ground, man. So we gonna do it that way. And, and I gotta shout this out because you know I don't I don't usually show bombs, logos. But, they ain't cut no check. They ain't cut no check with <laughs> this tycoon. Shout out to E40. Hey, this that oh. shit. Hey, this that shit, man. Look, that's what we said. That's what look, we drinking right now. Look, hey, hey, look, we got even. Look, hey, this is this, this that shit, man. And you, you, you see, we got the, the heat on us. We, we ain't for the bullshit. Hey, bro, pull up. <laughs> we, we ain't for the bullshit. <laughs> pull up. <laughs> we, we ain't for the bullshit. Not today. <laughs> Not today. But yeah, man, let me drop some psycho, man. Like, like I said, it's only three motherfuckers that's gonna get that privilege. I say four Ross, Jay Z, uh, Diddy. All right. All black only. Because we drink they, they that the only, They the only labels that's going to be shown. Other than that, y- y'all going to be on the ground. Drink that <laughs> rock, eat them chicken wings. Right. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Go get you a uh, lemon pepper. Hey, man, lemon hold on, man. Hey. Hashtag. I get the Hawaiian ones, yo. I get the I Hawaiian wings, bro. I love lemon and Cajun. That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. That motherfucker is fine. Hey, man. Hey, Ross. Cut the check, Ross. Cut the check, man. Uh, E40. Oh. Mm. Right. Cut the check. I ain't, I ain't. Verbal vomit. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man. Let's, but let's start this off like start we normally start it off, y'all. How y'all doing today, man? It's Sunday. It's early. You know what I'm saying? We drinking Drunk Man Sunday as usual. Feel me? First of all, shout out to everybody that's been on the show these past four episodes. We had Miss Yasin Ali. We had Dennis Perez. We had Everybody Loves Ross. Oh, Darian was on... Um, Motivational right. Fridays. In the mix, CEO. Uh, Rocky In the mix, Ms. Rocky Williams. Shout out to them, man. Make sure y'all go check them out on all platforms mm-hmm. and also buy some merch while you're checking them out. You know what I'm saying? We support, 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 right. pushing go, that. You, know, you want to spice up the bedroom, go to intermix.com. In the mix. XXX.com. You know what I'm saying? Go spice up the bedroom. Pussy stimulators. <laughs> hey, they said, she said they hot. <laughs> she said they hot right now. So go get y'all some, man. They selling out. But yeah, man, and, and shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to the squad, bro. We've been doing work. We've been putting this work in. So shout out to shout out to the Get It Off Your Chest podcast. Hashtag Get Off Your Chest podcast everywhere. If you want to be a guest on the show, hit us up in the DMs. Let us know. We got multiple shows now. Y'all can be on either one of them. So hit us up, man. Let us know what's up, man. But how y'all um, doing today, y'all? Man, I'm, I'm good. I'm here. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? I've been a good, good little weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? Hung We've been a, the kids having shit. some blessings, cuz. We've been getting blessings. some blessings, yo. Blessings, man. Yeah. Ronald, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. I got to see my dad for the, like, for a minute. Hung out with my dad yesterday. You know, it was, it was cool. And just had to share my family with school. That's what's up. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's been a cool little weekend, man. The weather was great yesterday. That was beautiful, bro. You it know, felt it felt so good. I'm telling the kids, I mean, get off that fucking game, go outside. Let's go outside, <laughs> man. Get the fuck out the game. Go outside, man. Hey, go, go, go play. I miss doing yard work. I miss cutting the damn grass, man. Why not? Getting shit, out there in the heat, bro. You get out there, it's hot outside, it's feeling good, man. I get Terry on out there. We cut the grass. I let him cut the grass. Watching your son cut the grass. Y'all got to understand, bro. I used to cut the grass. My bomber backyard. I'm watching my son cut grass. Like this is my child. Like damn, nigga, I'm I'm getting old, bro. I was, I, was, I was a little easy on my son last year about cutting the grass. Oh, that happened this not year. this year. Hell no, nah, nah. get they, his he, ass out there. He gonna help me. Oh, he, oh, he gonna help out. me. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I used to dread that shit cutting the grass. And my step pops used to wake oh, me up. So yeah. you cut that grass yet? I'm about to get it now, pops. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be to a point where where he helped me, and then eventually he cutting his damn stuff. So. Mm. But yeah, c- cutting grass trash. It's trash, but it's fun at the same time. It, it, I, I don't like it because my allergies be bad. Ah, I yeah. Be, be, be fucking my allergies yeah. when I do that shit, man. But it got to get cut, man. Got to get cut. Man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wish I could pay my little brothers to do it, but shit. Can I give y'all another shout out? Do that. Go ahead. Oh, my team, bro. We've been working, bro. Cuz uh, been on Instagram. I'm on posting Instagram. His videos. I'm on Instagram, y'all. Check him out on Instagram. <laughs> right up and posting his videos. Like, bro, shout out to the team, hey, bro. Check me out at Craig the Painter on Instagram. Craig the Painter. You know what I'm saying? Craig L underscore Craig the Painter, man. Check me out, man. Check I got out, some, man. I got some good little work on there, man. That's you know, good if shit, something man. y'all want to see if it's a certain color y'all want me to test out or something. Hey, DL me, man. I I'm always, you know what I'm saying, want to test out. I want to test out candy. Check I have never painted candy. I've been painting for like 10 years, never painted candy. 
Like Oops. actual candy paint, not the candy apple rig. For y'all that don't know, that's an actual <laughs> that's color. That's an actual color, yeah. That's an actual color. It ain't candy paint, what you think it is. It's just an actual color. But I do want to test out candy paint. I want to test that process out. Y'all so. been, hey, y'all been doing y'all thing, man. And, oh, and right. I, I only say that like I like I take this shit from you because you always say, man, give give motherfuckers they flowers while they here. You know what I'm saying? And and I take that into every day, especially with y'all, because it's like we we do shit like we're doing the shit and we see each other moving. Like Rhino been posting his gaming videos. He's been out there more. Is He's changing his whole attitude about shit. Like y'all been like growing. And if y'all go back a year and a half ago, bro, we was not on social media. We didn't do social media. We didn't even care about social media. So the fact that this podcast has brought us to that, it's like, bro, like I see our growth. And the shit is, is is phenomenal, man. Like, I love seeing it every day. Like, whenever y'all post videos, bro, I like I like it from all three of the pages. Like, everything. Like, yeah. nah, they my boy's doing their thing, bro. And we growing. Uh, bro. Uh, so, bro. kudos. Ku- honestly, kudos to y'all. Made me get on the IG. You and, bro, you and my brother, man. Yeah. I'll be seeing Shout that. out to Darian. Right. Shout out to D, man. A was Angels, man. You in Kansas City. D hey, telling, man. man. Hey, getting the weather's good. getting good, man. Why not ride clean? I know y'all been wanting to, hey, pretty soon, you know, the side show Sundays. Let him clean your ride. Let you be the cleanest yeah. ride out there. Check out his portfolio. It, it talks for itself. <laughs> right. Everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Talks for itself. Shit. I, I, I guarantee at least Sparkling got them. And he could come to you. You ain't even got to leave. He's you can mobile. be in your bed. He's you mobile. Can, let me tell you something. All you got to do, A was angels.com. You don't go in there, like, boom. Hey, man. I need a detail. Boom. You ain't even got to leave your bed. You can just be right there. He be outside washing your car, getting it clean while you still in bed laying down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Link in the description. Yeah. Link man. in the description. <laughs> be sure to go check out his angels, man. Yeah, man. Everybody working, bro. This pandemic is definitely, like, we talk about it all the time. It's 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 created some monsters out here, bro. The, the elite. The like, elite are starting to show their faces. Man. and. We we take it over, bro, man. You, it, it it really separate the men from the boys with this pandemic shit. Yeah, bro. they really did. Like it's been, I didn't see so many things, so many great people. You know what I'm saying? Step up and do things with this pandemic. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because they had the same mindset like we did. Like if it wasn't for our jobs being essential, what the fuck were we gonna do? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck were we gonna do? But you know, they were like fuck this. I'm gonna go ahead and do something. So like, everybody, our, our team around us, everybody doing some. Hey man, wavy bullies. I can I gotta shout out my brother, Wavy Bullies, man. I mean, my shout out, check out Wavy Bullies on Instagram, man. Check they, them out. Matter of fact, I got a fresh kennel right now. So you better go get you, go get you one of them pets right now. Hey man. man. Go get you one. Shout Wavy Bullies to, on shout Instagram. Out to Ray, bro. Wavy Bullies on Instagram, Wavy Bullies on Facebook, man. Go, go, go check out Wavy Bullies, man. Telling y'all, people, we're making businesses out of out of nothing right now. Like nothing. And if everybody else can do it, find what you creative in, push yourself. Put your feet to the dirt. Stay ten toes down. I heard that somewhere. Right. And uh, you know, keep You're pushing. Man. Man. Yeah, man. keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Like we always like, find your craft and perfect it. Hashtag consistency. Perfect your craft, goddamn it. Perfect that shit, man. All right, man. We're oh, and don't. Man. I'll go ahead. Yeah, and one thing, man. Now. One thing is, don't be scared. Don't be scared to uh, post. Don't be scared to keep posting your shit and keep pushing it. No matter, just keep showing your face every day. On social media. Every day, yo. Keep putting it in Push your face. Every day, yo. Keep putting it in mm-hmm. fucking face. And I'm going to tell y'all something about networking, man. Like, a lot of people, like, even, even people that are antisocial, they they kind of scared to network. They're scared to meet other people. That's why we have social media. Yeah. I have people that I've communicated with that are in Australia. Shout out to Jose. That are in um the United Kingdom. Ireland. Ireland. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. All over the world, just because of the networking situations, people all over the state, all over the country, because of us networking, man, we would have never met these people if we wouldn't have networked or reached out or posted something they like or did something, some sort of communication. Like, you never know who's watching. you. Right. You never know who's watching. But just imagine if we would have did this shit years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. We wish. Come on. We now. wish. We was thinking we about that. We think about that shit every day. We about all the time. But you know what? <laughs> Life happens with Better late than never, I always say. Better, better late, late than, than never, motherfucking man. never. Better late than never. Look. Growth. Look, man. And we and not only, we, we've been investing in our shit, too. Definitely. Yes. We've been investing in our shit. When it comes to equipment, like, hey, man, we should go in the cash app, man. We're like, first one's rent is due, man. Go, 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 go cash Well, my cash app, app is clip913. That's money sign, clip913, C-L-I-P-P, 913. It's my old rap name. My old rap 
Hey, you know what I'm saying? Rent coming up. You know what I'm saying? We got to pay. We, we, we ain't here for free. We got to pay for this. <laughs> donate, man. Donate, donate, <laughs> donate, nah, donate, donate. But yeah, yeah, man, we we've been moving, bro. I'm proud. I'm I'm proud of us. Like man. I'm 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 definitely proud of us, man. When you can look back and see where we started man. and see where we are now, y'all gotta understand. We like sixty something episodes in, but we've been doing this shit like really man. doing it. So and like and like I always say, I don't never want to leave without saying this. Shout out to the Biz family. Yes, sir. For giving us the opportunity, you know, yes, what I'm saying, to, to record in this, you know, saying so corner building. You know, so that's how you know you got some trill ass niggas on your team. Hey, bro. I was just talking to talking to E about this yesterday, bro. Me and E have became like the best of friends within a short of. If y'all remember, we was in Vegas, bro. <laughs> Me and E went off by ourselves, bro. It was like a group. Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody took was off with somebody. <laughs> and, and after paying twenty dollars for a Hennessy and Coke, that a bitch. Oh. We bought like four, to four, five of them, motherfucker. Bro, I spent like a hundred some dollars on. Yeah, hey, I did too, drinks. bro. That shit was crazy. But we was in a dope ass club. You know what I'm saying? They ain't cut no check. But we was in a dope ass club. Yeah. Tory Lanez was supposed to be performing that he night. Did. He did, but we left before. Yeah, we, yeah, we got out of there. We got yeah, we got kicked out. But no, 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 no. One nigga got kicked out. True. And we had to join the party. <laughs> but yeah, man, me and E, bro, he, he was like, come on, bro, we go up to the dance floor. And I'm like, what? So we we walk. We had to take this long ass little walk around to this big ass dance floor. <sighs> Niggas shoulder to shoulder. We still going in there. We and, was in the, and, and, in the middle and, and, of the dance floor raving, the, bro. The thing, the thing <laughs> right. Hey, yeah, bro, we was in that motherfucker. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. We was killing it. I still got that shit on video. Hey, that shit was hard. I, I didn't like the fact that dude Dude was on some bullshit, like yeah. Our homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my homeboy Christian, he was supposed to dude because we would have changed clothes. And he was clean. Nah, dude, that, that, dude was like, was oh clean, yeah, you can bro. wear that. And then when Dress we get code. there, then they was like, oh, oh, he can't wear that. I'm like, this is some bullshit. And let our minds and out. I'm, he had yeah. on a, a clean it, it was ass clean polo. Too. It was some, clean. He had the polo mm. shorts on. Y'all know the golfer shorts. Yeah. He had the golfer shorts on. He didn't have on like no baggy motherfucking bullshit ass shorts. He had some some polo shorts on. Like he was, he looked like he was about to go golf. Clean, like real shit, clean. And they still didn't let him in because he had shorts on. You cannot wear shorts in this club. Yeah, let our mind you, know. it's a hundred and something degrees in Vegas. But you can't wear shorts. <laughs> can't wear shorts. And nah, and then like when I and then when I say one nigga got kicked out, I'm not talking about Christian. Talking nah, about Christian. Didn't get I'm kicked. talking. We talking he about the other homeboy. Club. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put his name out there. Yeah. Cause that nigga, that's how you know he was having a good time. He was that having a was good wilding, ass boy. time. Wild. Good thing is we end up going to a motherfucking Taco Bell that was two stories and had a DJ in it. So hey, jumping. that motherfucker was crap. That Taco Bell was jumping. <laughs> Taco bro. Bell was jumping, bro. Order your shit at the screen and then just go party. They, they had a they had a live DJ upstairs. Oh, crazy man, that shit was. Motherfuckers crazy. in there eating tacos, getting jiggy. <laughs> but more of the story, me and me and Edom became very yeah. good friends. Yeah. And I, I really love what he's doing and what he's about to do and where he's going on his journey in life, mm. my nigga. And he, you know, that's my that's that's, that's yeah. like I said. We know you got a trill ass uh, people around you, bro. Hell he yeah, he, he the one because we were talking know, about. We don't it. fuck with people, bro. Right. We don't fuck with we don't fuck with niggas. Put it like that. We don't fuck with everybody. I, I, like literally the same team I had for like the past ten plus years, bro. Gang. And the we fam we team. family so. You know what I'm saying? The same yeah. team. Like, we don't, I'm sorry, we don't let outsiders in a lot. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? We might fuck with you from a distance, but nigga, you would never be, you in, know what I'm in saying? In the circle. Like, <laughs> like, because, like, not these, every, all these men around me, Pauls, are doing something in life. Yes, sir. Rather it's businesses. You know what I'm saying? Some of them working good ass jobs, but yeah. everybody is on their shit. Everybody got a goal. And and, and, and and ain't no crabs in a bucket shit, bro. We all mm-hmm. uplifting each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We all throwing each other alley oops. That's the that's the scary part about like letting motherfuckers mm-hmm. in, bro. You never know who a fucking hater. Right. There's so many of them out here. You never know. I gotta look at the camera. You never know who's a fucking hater out here. Like uh-huh. niggas, niggas will show up in your face, smile at you, everything. But then behind your back, you a whole nother you, you this, that, and the third. So, and that's not even with what we do. Is everybody? Right. Everybody do that shit because niggas be hating. Like why? When we can all grow together, we can all put our ideas together. I had a plan that I think I'm gonna put back into effect before this, uh, before the pandemic don't, showed up. Yeah, mother, don't tell them the plan. Nah, it, but it, but it was in, re, it was basically something to bring everybody together that I've came in contact with over the last ten years, whether it's been short or long term or whatever. But it's a plan that 
I think I'm going to put back in effect and actually, you know, because it would be, it's a growth, basically a growth program <laughs> that we all can get together and share our, our creativity. But yeah, I think I'm going to put that back in effect. Why now that we got the podcast, yeah, okay, I'm put we got to do it. We might even record while we're doing it. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You know, but man, we've been talking a lot. We have. Let's get into these motherfucking topics. Let's get into these topics, man, because we go on and on and on. Because we here. On about this shit. Get off your motherfucking chest podcast. Y'all know what it is, man. We ain't All playing right. no games. Well, it's 2021. Go ahead, Rhino. Let them know what we got for the people. What we got, G? First off, first off, we got the um, uh, cryptocurrency. When I say cryptocurrency, I'm not talking about Bitcoin or Ethereum. I'm talking about, um, I'm going to go deep into two of these other cryptocurrencies. But first off, cryptocurrency is going to change. It's going to change the world. It's going to change the way we spend money. It's going to change the way we receive money and wire transfers and all that stuff, too. It'll be easier. But first off, I want to talk about Stellar. Stellar. Stellar Lumens. Stellar Lumens are um, are basically... It's a whole network of a. Uh, it's a whole network. It's a coin that uh, connects just everyday people, government. I mean, uh, banks and government. It's a social. It's almost like a social network. But with this current, this type of currency can, this type of type of currency can be uh, can change into change money like a U.S. dollar into a yen or a yen or peso or any type of any type of form of currency. Like say. If I need to send some money to say CJ because he was in France, I could just send maybe a like a he needs a hundred dollars and I could just use Stellar to send that money, use that send that money, and then that will be trans that will be transferred into the pounds, and then there will be no fees or no yeah, no fees or anything. And that's automatic. And that's automatic, uh, right? Yeah, it's automatically. It's automatically. They will automatically change. It will automatically convert it into that currency. And another thing is, um, all right. Another thing is compound. Compound is a um, is a network where you can like earn interest from the stock from the currency that you have. So you can um, a compound token will compound token will become will earn you interest, like, like say if you can borrow, say if you want to borrow some Bitcoin, mm -hmm. you can borrow that Bitcoin in there. And as long as you keep that uh, Bitcoin, it will be, it'll, you'll earn interest from that Bitcoin. And the other person, it's peer to peer basically. Peer -to -peer, and okay. the person that you borrow, borrow it from, they'll earn that interest, interest too. Okay. And I'm just gonna say, I mean, those are two, two things that caught my eye and I'm going, I'm going to do more I'm gonna go and more and do some more research and go go and deep in, deeper into that. Yeah. In future episodes, but I'm just uh, so it's a little sample. Of, it's a little it's a little sample that cryptocurrency is gonna be changing the world. Like the U.S. dollar is gonna die. That's what I was. Paper gonna say, money is. Gonna, you you had said that in our in our group chat. You was like, man, the U.S. dollar basically is uh, going away. That's that's what I got from. You know everything that you was talking about when it comes to Bitcoin. So what does this have to do with dog coin, though? Is this any like relation? It ain't dog. It's like dog. Oh so, no, okay. Dog, dog, dog coin. Dog, dog coin. <laughs> dog I would say this. Dog coin. Dog coin is is just a meme. It's not like it really. It's really no use. It's not. It's not really any use for it right now because nobody's accepting it, and it's not really a. It's not really going anywhere. It's not really a direction. People are just buying it. Just it's a meme stock, basically. Okay. People are just putting money into it. Just I mean, in case just it blows up. Yeah, in case, case, yeah, okay. case it goes up. Because okay. the shares, I mean, the shares on that cheap right now. I would just put a little right? bit on it. Because anything can happen. People people do things like that. So Yeah, but the shares on that is cheap right now, ain't it? It's cheap. It's like okay. it's, four, it's four cents right now. So that's probably why a lot of people are buying into it because they think I think a lot of people buying into it because they think they're gonna get lucky like that GameStop shit. Yes, man, yeah. that shit was crazy. And I think ain't that like some like some Needle in a haystack type board do that shit really well, that shit happens good, from like, what I heard. It's jump just, like it is, yeah, something like that. Because all those heavy yeah. big investors and big money spenders and millions. So it's a bullet. So, money. Yeah, so what they was what they were doing, it was it was basically a bullish. They were doing bullish calls and stuff. So if it um 
if it goes up and if it goes if it goes down, like say if it goes down, you're borrowing money from that from that hedge fund, and whatever money that you that you, that uh that goes down, you get the um, you're paying them back. You're basically paying a contract back to that to that host, and whatever money that is left from that contract that you pay, you get to keep that money. But if it go if it goes the opposite direction, you still have to pay that contract with with and then some. So you'd be losing money. Show the brand. Show the brand, man. Okay. Yeah, that was what's up though. Make sure y'all check out. Check that out, man. Make sure y'all check that out. You know, he ain't lying. like I said, right? He, he, be, he be on our ass like we need to get better with stuff. Hey, he, he I think Rhino be like low key, like telling us like I'm yeah, like, you ship up and ship out. You need strip. Like we I need to get up on this. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna be like, hey, we're gonna do it, but then we be slacking on. I ain't gonna lie, we to you. it's our fault, bro. But they giving us more right. money with the stimulus. They about to give us some more money, some more money. Yeah, whatever. More money. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy. Man, you niggas about to just buy, use it to buy weed, huh? Man, that's, that's buy back, man. Use right. your money wisely. Invest in your money. At least put some of your money up. Hey, can y'all do that, please? Buy some. My bro, people. you should always save My at least buy some weed stocks, bit. man. You should always save at least twenty to thirty percent of your earnings. Always man, put some up because you never right. know what can happen. If it's for a rainy day, just put it up. Don't spend it all on, on TVs and cars and all that. Unless you need a car, put it some of it up, please. Most of you niggas don't even need TVs. Y'all just be buying them because y'all want to upgrade. TV anymore? Nah, man, Christmas whatever. is over, my nigga. Black Friday's yeah. over. We ain't mm. don't need no goddamn TVs. Whatever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What else we got? I mean, Shit, I, man. I, I, I got something, man. You know what I'm saying? It, I still want to talk about the, um, no, the movie. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Ah, I see. We go. We go get there. We gonna get there. I don't, don't want to go into a, a dark place right now because that's exactly what that, that, that that talking about that gonna take me. Hold on, really. And since we're in the middle of the video, man, man, sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit yes. that notification bell, like and share. Share the video, man. Share the video. Leave us a comment below. You know what I'm saying? If it's some topics that y'all want us to cover, we need to get back to saying that All a lot. Right. If it's some topics y'all want us to go. cover, or if it's something that y'all want to talk to us about, or something that, you know what I'm saying, y'all think we should cover or we didn't cover right, you know what I'm saying? Hit us up, man. We're right. not always going to be, yeah, we're we not, not perfect. We don't always got the answer either. We don't. We ain't got the answers. Sway, hit us up. Sway. We would love to be on the show. Why? But <laughs> what I want to talk about, man, <laughs> and I just, like, this, this is what happened when you got to be on the social and, and, and do your shit. Yeah. I seen some bullshit like why is it so hard okay. to block negativity? Like if you don't mm. like someone, why is it so hard to remove them or block them? Y'all motherfuckers stay friends with them yeah. just to be nosy. Yeah. Just to be nosy. Like if you say you don't fuck, if you don't fuck with me, please block me. I all mean block me. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because if, if, if I don't fuck with you, please believe I block your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck I need to see your shit for? I don't fuck with you. That's you, cuz. You, you, know you a different animal. Because I'm like, why why even entertain a negativity? Like, because you, while you lurking that shit, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, that motherfucker talk about me. That motherfucker talk about me. Right. You would never even know that what's going on if, you know, if it ain't showing up. But they want, like you why said. Why is that so hard? But you said it. You said they, they want to know what's going on. <laughs> what, what, fuels, what fuels the world right now? Negativity fuels the world. You can go off of if a viral video that's negative is gonna go wave is gonna go viral first than a positivity video. A vi a video that's about positivity is not gonna go viral before a negativity video. That's true. A nigga getting hit by a car is gonna go viral first before a nigga that's giving you some insight on insurance. Yeah, that's, that's just. And, am I wrong? Or am I right? That's true. That's because y'all know this that mm. the world. Go ahead, right on my back. Mm. It, I, have it, I mean, all right. Have y'all know this that destruction? It's the, it's what makes the most money. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Not a negative. Yes. Yeah. Negative. When we see destruction, that's why we see more viral. motherfucking mm -hmm. negativity about the protest than we've seen positive. Yeah. In order for yeah. us to get the positivity out of the the protest, we had to go on social media to people's personal pages. Yeah. But you've seen the negative in the news. Always the media always gonna show the negative. The media is gonna show the it, bro, the about negativity fuels this fucking world. It's all about views with them. Good yeah. views bring sponsorship. Yes, negativity yeah. fuels the world, and I can't, I can't be like I'm just a hundred percent. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm woke. I can't do that shit because yeah, I'm gonna watch this video of this nigga getting hit by this car, 
and nigga that's giving me the positive shit, I'm gonna watch it, but probably not today. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like it, it's it's one of them things that it catches your eye. What catches your eye faster? Negative shit. Negative shit. <laughs> when I'm in my <laughs> editing mood, when I'm being creative, and I'm I'm I want to listen to that shit because I do. I always listen to. If y'all noticed on the motivational shit, those um those speeches that you hear in the beginning of the motivationals, I actually listen to those. I listen to those when I used to work out. Used to. <laughs> Need to get back to that. But uh, I listen to those all the time. Like that shit in the morning when I'm feeling like, bro, I don't want to go into work, whatever the fuck. I'll go to YouTube, find me a motivational speech, and I listen to that shit. Either every day or every other day, I'm listening to something positive before I start my day because I know I have an attitude problem. And I cut somebody the fuck out. But everybody's not like that. Everybody don't know how to search for the positivity. Everybody don't know what right type of positivity is for you. Because I may not want to hear you talk about flowers, motherfucker. I may want to hear you, you know, I may want to hear some aggressive shit. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yes, get up. Life passing you by. You're sitting on the couch anyhow. <laughs> I'm not putting on the hashtag, get over to the podcast. Right. But nah, but that's real. Like, negativity is going to catch your eye first. Before, like, lately... I've been listening to this dude on YouTube, man. He, he just tells, this shit puts me to sleep. I don't know if I'm crazy, psycho, whatever. But um, I listen to these stories about these people. Some of them live, some of them don't. But it'd be these crazy ass stories that, that happen. And it'd be from these videos that we see on social media that we only get a clip of, but it'd be the rest of the story. You know what I'm saying? That he'd be telling. And most of these, these stories I listen to, I don't know if you want to put them in a negative category, but, you know, they be, you know, some people lose their lives in these stories, but that's the shit that attracts to me. Like, I listen to that shit before I call it a night because it's interesting. It, it's really interesting towards me. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. That's why I'm hooked to it. But, but it'd be bullshit. It'd be bullshit. It'd be shit that I don't need to put in my brain because I'd be like, damn, nigga, I could die tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But because of my thought process, I don't think like that. I don't have that type of insight. But that's not saying that the next person does, though. You know what I'm saying? Good. Uh, hey, remember that shit? Hey, man, pat him on the back. Man, <laughs> niggas, niggas be hitting you too, goddamn. Right. right. <laughs> the fight, the that, fight video. Ain't that what kind of really got world star? Like, I, I ain't popular. been on world star lately. I don't. World star. I don't, I don't, after like, the original. I, I gotta start, I that I I gotta start popping. That's all that is. That's ignorance. That's ignorance. Mm -hmm. And that's a difference too. I'm glad you said that. E. That's a, it's a difference between negativity and ignorance. Ignorance is just blatant disrespect. Negativity is something that really hits you. You know what I'm saying? It, it really hits you on a personal level. We can watch fight videos and be like, oh, that nigga got knocked the fuck out. We can watch that shit, but you can watch some negative and be like, damn, that shit really fucked up my mood for the whole day. Like I said, that's, that, that fight shit ignorance. Yeah, it's ignorance, which kind of takes us into... Why? Because niggas want to get to be viral. Everybody ain't no... Look, bro, everybody's not no motherfucking viral video. Quotables. Everybody ain't no fucking viral video. Everybody doing everything cloudy, bro. I, and what's crazy is, I don't know if it's the time we live in, but yeah. you see a lot of these videos, you see a lot more videos than the shit that we used to look at as weird, probably like in the 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. Motherfuckers are actually doing and getting clout for. Like, people are doing this shit. Like, it used to be frowned upon. One of the things, like, I used to be a dancer for y'all don't know, I used to do crump. You know what I'm saying? I'm a retired veteran. Ask about me. Uh, one of the things that is frowned upon in Crump is you can't pop bakes, meaning you can't twerk in that dance and call it Crump. A lot of these videos got these boys, these boys twerking. And I, I'm, I mainly blame TikTok because, you know what I'm saying, they try to do the videos that the women are doing and they make the, these boys are doing, they doing these dances. And it's it's just not something that we would have did five, six, seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? But now it's looked at as, oh, it's, it's funny, it's enjoyable, it's entertainment. But at the same time, it's like, you may, even though you're not that way, this shit is going all over the world. People are seeing you all over the world. I'm being judgmental. Yeah, let's not do that. I'm being you judgmental. Because then the, the motherfucking ABC motherfuckers are going to try to come over here. I'm being judgmental. And we stand on what we stand on. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but then, but, but, but when it comes to the like, say blocking our negativity, like, yeah, my brother recently told me, that's uh, what was like, uh, someone he knew, and they was like, uh, I need to get my life right, I want to get my mental right. Cool, that's good. You definitely get your, you always want to get your mental right, get your mental right. 
But the person didn't like what he said when he was like, you got to get off social media. Like, you want to get your mental right, you got to get off social media. Why I got to get off social media? Because that's going to bring some negativity. Like, why do you feel like you got to tell everybody you depressed on social fucking media? Go get help. Go see a therapist. Get help. Why? You, you're you looking for attention now. You're looking for somebody to be like, oh, well, it's, everything's going to be okay. No. But isn't that what social media originated from, no. though? Is, go, is, get you some, go get you some serious help because the motherfuckers on there, they don't give a fuck about you. I'm letting you know that right now. No. It's entertainment, bro. Mm. If Even if you're somebody that puts your whole life on social media and you're talking about your relationship, whatever the case, it's entertainment to us. We watch your despair. Your despair. Your last moments. Because it's entertainment. That shit fake as fuck. Dog. It's it could be fake, fraud, fraudulent. It's all the same shit. But we look at it as entertainment, shit. and and we look at you and a motherfucker look at you stupid. crazy, look at you stupid, look at it like like that man. This motherfucker, I would never do that. But it's entertainment. Social media is an entertainment platform people for everything. Look, people always looking for sympathy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Petty parties, mm, a lot of those, a lot of those, a lot of petty parties. Man, hey man, let me and let me say this, man. That that toxic shit ain't cute, man. Motherfuckers be going for our toxic. I mean, that shit is not cute. Talk about it. Like what the fuck? Oh, my toxic trait is this, and my toxic trait is that. Hey man, hey for real, for real, hey fellas. If if they going with that toxic shit, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Or ladies, if he on that toxic, get rid of them. That shit ain't fucking cute. It's not. That shit can lead to some dangerous situations. Domestic violence. Get rid mm-hmm. of that shit. Seriously. Or honestly, the motherfucking snap on you that you're doing that shit too and end up killing you. So exactly. Get rid of that shit, man. You lose your life over a motherfucking and it, taco. It, 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 ain't, it, ain't, it ain't worth it. It ain't For worth real. it. That shit is not funny. It's not funny at all, man. Mm-mm. It's not funny. Don't do that shit. And, and let's stop promoting that shit, man. Like, God damn. Shit, they gonna broadcast it. Social media is a broadcast oh, platform. I, oh my god, social media is a, is, is a great thing and it's a fucking bad thing, boy. That's why we talk about it, man. We talk about good, it all the time. I just want the good to outweigh the bad because lately the bad been outweighing the good. It really has. Dang. We trying to get some sort of turnaround, but the shit it just, it gets worse. <laughs> to every, to every, like you take one step forward, you should take five, five back. Five step back, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what I noticed? Cause we red and blacked up right now. Our favorite colors. We red and blacked up right now, bro. Ah, you know, you know. Talk about it right now. No, it nah, Let but let's, go, let's, uh, let's let's get into this movie, bro. But before we get it, before we get into this movie, we are gonna take a commercial break. So, hashtag all our sponsors. Hashtag blackjet.com. Blackjet.com. But yeah, we are gonna take a commercial break, and we are gonna be right back. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. Get it, 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 get it off your chest. Well, now that we know that y'all know that we know that y'all know that we love y'all, let's get into these motherfucking topics, man. What's going on with y'all, Jay? What we doing? You want? You want to start it before I go on? I'm going to start it off because mine's is kind of simple. I know everybody ain't been living <laughs> under a fucking rock. So let's get into it, man. How y'all feel about um your boy? It threw me so hot, nigga. Like I thought that shot. I say what? I saw hot, nigga. How y'all feel about Bobby Spurda being out of jail, man? I know okay, we ain't really know. into the industry shit. Get into it, cuz. Get into it. The, the, day, the times that we live in, social media is everything to some of these people. You got to realize that. that man, social live for that. social live for that. media is like a, mental, like a mental health type thing. I'm, I'm you know too what I'm busy saying? to be worried about fucking But the thing stuff. is, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though you don't mean nothing by it on the social, they see it on social, and they, and they be like, oh. What the fuck she got going on? But, but you, you know, know what? what? That's, that's their problem, not mine. And she just said Why are you taking it that fucking seriously? The intimidation. She just said, I'm too busy. To but all your products, you ship them nationwide, right? Yes, I ship. I meet up in the town, Missouri and Kansas. I can meet you in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> On the Missouri side, I can meet you. We ain't going and, over um, I do ship. So uh, I have all options. We got Square, no we got Cash App. Okay. Receipts. All that, everything official. See, so I ain't no excuse. Your thing. They, they even bring that up. Yeah. Because I think that's a, that's a revolution that we really need. It's not a civil war revolution. Nah, mm-hmm. like, we that's too much bloodshed. We don't want our people to die. How, how are we really going to take over? 
it's economics, you know, economical revolution. That's why Martin Luther King died. You know what I mean? Because he was pushing for, you know, uh, the unions to, you know, mobilize, you know, like the common workers and shit. And so, like, yeah, uh, thank you for bringing that up because that, that, you know, kind of gives me an outlet, you know, like, yeah. People want to be part of the winning team. Yep. So if a whole bunch of people fucking with you, the rest is going to come and fuck with you because they want to be part of the fucking the, winning team. The winning team versus everybody going up together. Yeah. Exactly. That, that, that That's what it is. It's like, it ain't got nothing to do with the city per se. Like, that's, that's, that's all right, let me keep it true. Shout out to him, Two Gun. Like, Two Gun. Like, mm-hmm. wasn't nobody talking about him when he was locked up. But the minute he got out, that's what I'm talking about. We back, season two, episode one, we in here. How y'all feeling, man? You know, it's been a long wait. We've been doing a lot of other shit. We've been getting everything prepped and ready. We've been buying equipment. We've been doing a lot of other things besides giving y'all the actual show. And if you have and we back, get off your test podcast, man. Hope y'all enjoyed those commercials, man. Make sure y'all go check out all the prior episodes. We are episode six right now. So we got five episodes that we done did that are crazy. Season two is starting off phenomenal. So make sure y'all go check that out. Also check out the past catalog because we got a catalog of season one Alone. that was, we had some dope ass shows. We yeah. had some dope ass shows. We didn't get women on the show until like episode 26. Yeah, dope shows, <laughs> dope guests, all that, man. And Shout out to the uh, Black Gent, the sponsors, man. Sponsor. man check them out, man. E-40, Tycoon. help us out. Oh. Tycoon. Money hey, everybody that's oh, watching this, hashtag Tycoon, man. Hashtag Tycoon, hashtag Get Out With Chess Podcast. Get Put the two together, podcast, sleep man. like, huh? And we everywhere, man. Man, so it's people can reach out to us. Or, or it, you know what I'm saying? Like, or you got a liquor or wine or something you want us to, to promote, man. You know what I'm saying? Let us know, man. Hit us up in the DMs. We got you. We out here, man. But let's let's uh let's get straight let's get straight into it, bro. We are gonna get straight into it. Halfway gone. Yeah, that motherfucker is (laughs) on. Once again, if you have been living under a fucking rock, pass the bottle on the left hand side. That's right hand side. My bad. If you haven't been living under a rock, there was a movie release. I don't even know the name of the movie because I don't really care to watch it. Judas and the Black Messiah. Say it again, cuz. Judas and the Black. Judas is the Judas and the Black Messiah. It's something along those lines. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but it's Judas and it got Black yes. Messiah. In it's Judas and the Black Messiah. Okay, That's it. Judas okay. and the Black Messiah. Okay. Okay. Rhino, why, 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 That's why, what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Rhino seen this movie. Okay. We haven't yeah. watched this movie. Don't spoil it, but sorry. Yeah. So hashtag no spoil. No spoil. Saw yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So I saw yesterday. Yeah. I mean, how you feel about it? Yeah. How, how do you? How do you? Because we haven't seen it. Cuz has been contemplating watching it. I'm a, I don't think I'm gonna watch I'm, it. I'm okay. So good, I want Rhino to explain, you know, how you feel about it. Then I'm gonna tell y'all why I haven't watched it yet. Go okay, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead, Rhino. Yeah, overall, it's a good movie, but just the way shit popped up and the way shit happened, it really it's gonna piss you off. It's gonna it's it's gonna it's gonna make you it's gonna give me that feeling of madness because of what happened at the I mean what happens at the end, the demise and also, just that you can't trust everybody. Everybody ain't your friend. You, you, everybody's not your friend. Everybody ain't down for the same cause, even if you yeah. have the same color skin. They're not down for the same cause as you. And they will sell you out in, in a heartbeat for money. We all know the story of Judas in the Bible, right? Yeah, everybody knows the story of Judas. That's exactly why I don't want to watch the film. That's exactly why I don't want to watch the film. Now, I'm going to watch it. Okay. I, I'm telling myself I'm gonna watch this movie. The reason why I haven't watched it yet, I'm gonna tell y'all why. I know how I am, and the people around me that watch it and have been talking about, it, I'm like, I know for a fact this movie is gonna take me to another space. You know what I'm saying? This and and when I mean another space, I know you're not supposed to always take movie series, but this is like, this is based on a true story. So this shit really happened. Mm-hmm. And. Mm-hmm. For what know, we know, allegedly. I, I, I know coon-ass niggas. I don't fuck with them. But I know. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's really going to take me to a space where we're like, nigga, because I, I even, like, I even heard, like, I was on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, just looking up some of his speeches. And, and, and you wouldn't even know this motherfucker was only, like, 21 years old. Young. Talking like that. Young. And, and but, but <laughs> we, the shit he was talking was so inspirational. You know what I'm saying? And to, and to see 
for something like that happen to him? Yeah. Because of a motherfucking coon? Yeah. Because he didn't want to serve fucking five years? Was it five? It was like five years. Oh, five. Stolen vehicle? No, it was going to be five plus ten. Man, even regardless of even if you got ten, bro, yeah, he, he was a bitch, bro. But mm. and then he took his way, he took himself out of coward ass way too. But to see something like that, it's just gonna take me to. I know it's gonna take me to another space, but I'm still gonna watch it. I just got to get my emotions intact when I do watch it. I didn't tell my wife. My wife even been like, "Hey, you know, I know how you is, and so let's. I want your emotions to be intact before you watch this movie because I know how you and I know where it's gonna take you to. So just have your emotions like. I want to watch that movie, bro. Like that shit, just like it, 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 it's so inspiring, inspiring the way he cared about his people and what he wanted to do for his people. Yeah. And and to see some motherfucker in your own race to bring you down like that, along with the government, oh, the government gonna do what they are gonna do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They, they don't want to see us shine. Cool, but let's not help them. Let's not help them bring us down. That's just like with this cancel culture bullshit. Why do we help them bring us down? Because when they do something wrong, they got their people back. You ever yeah. notice that? They got their people back. If they people in the wrong, they got their people fucking back. They going to back their people. Right, wrong, indifferent. They going to worry about us later. But you got to look at this but shit. But they going to, hold on, this, this, this with, the, with, the, with, the, with the dude that went to Kenosha and killed them people. I can't remember the, the, little, the, the kid name, but he, when he killed people, he got motherfuckers bailing him out. Yeah. yeah. There's people bailing him out. But when that's on us, we want to bury us. Why are we doing that to each other? Let's put our shit together. Get him out. We're gonna worry about this shit later. We're gonna let, let, let's talk about our problems in house. Fuck on the outside. Let's talk about our problems in house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just like the people that I fuck with. If they do something wrong, I'm, y'all niggas not gonna know. I'm not y'all niggas. Y'all people, y'all ain't gonna know. We're gonna handle the situation when we handle the situation. But when me and them getting get one on one, I'm gonna let them know. Hey man, you want some bullshit? Mm-hmm. Hey, that was fucked up. Why would you do something stupid like that? I'm gonna let them know right then. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nobody else's business, but I'm, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna tell you about yourself, but I'm not gonna tell you about yourself in the public, cause that's what we do. We tell each other about yourself in the fucking public yep. to get sympathy from them other motherfuckers who don't get two shits about us. Yeah, I said it. Don't get two shits about us. I just want to talk about the inevitable, and I say the inevitable because y'all gotta understand. <laughs> We treat ourselves like we're not the majority. Yeah, I'm talking about black people. We treat ourselves like we're not the majority. We talk about this shit all the time when it comes to businesses, uh, our people respecting our people, stuff like that. We, we talk about this shit every day, man. And yeah, denying the inevitable, I, I say that because we got to understand, bro, the government is not going to let happen what they don't want to let happen. But if we start treating ourselves like we're the majority, they wouldn't have any choice on what goes on and what we do. But the fact that we always quick to bring ourselves down, bring our kind down, bring our, no- our neighborhood neighborhoods down, our communities down, whatever the fuck the case may be, that's why it's so hard to open up a small business. That's so hard. It's, it's so hard to get respect in your own neighborhoods. But if we start coming together and doing what we're supposed to do, and, and it's crazy. Why do black people always got to talk about this? Why do we always have to talk about our race coming together? That, that's a good question. Why, why do we, we always have to, have to talk why, about that? Day, why, why is that always really, a fucking why, conversation? Right. I don't understand that shit. Like, I don't get it. Like, why is it always us? It's, it's only our fucking race. It's only our Everybody race. Everybody else stick together. Yeah. Man. We can't. Why? Why is it so hard for us to come together? Because everybody want to be the boss. Everybody want to be Everybody want to be in charge. That's a problem. Everybody wants to be in charge, man. So, you know, all motherfuckers be like, oh, man, I'm not about to put me. I'm my own person. I'm going to do this, this this way. Why? Why we can't all just come together? Why everybody can't just find a role and stick with it? We don't like Why to is show that each other so hard? validation. We don't like to give each other props. We don't like to give each other kudos. We don't like to respect each other. We don't like to, to come together and help each other build. We want to do this shit on our own. We want to be independent. Man, we want to we want to hate on each other wow. when another man is doing the same thing that I'm doing, but wow. just doing it in a different light. This is wow. the shit that gets us in these positions that we can't get the fuck out of. But that's why I don't deal with neg- negative ass people. If I if I get if I feel that you around me and you hanging on another motherfucker around me, get the fuck from around me, goddammit. Cause you the problem. You the problem. Don't come around here and say, man, he need to do this and he need to do that. Nigga, fuck you. You don't need to do a goddamn thing with what he been doing. Hating ass nigga, you do something. 
Gonna be the one. Oh yeah, it's it's really man, it's really all about pride. It's really I really really feel like it's all about pride on the side. We're always afraid to ask for ask ask for people help. other people for help. Yeah, ask our own people for help all the time. And I mean, I look at Fred Hampton. He was like a 20, 22, 20, 21, 22, powerful, powerful black man that was on a rise and bringing the whole fucking world together. Mm-hmm. He had everybody from each race over here marching with the Black Panthers. And that's that's fucking powerful right there, too. Yeah. It's based off in Oakland, the Bay Area, and he they, they slaughtered him. He was in Chicago. He was in Chicago, wasn't he? Nah. Or was that huge? That's that's no, what I'm saying. Hampton, Hampton, he, he was in Chicago. Mm. Oh, I need to do one back check on that. But I, I, mm, I, I thought it was in Chicago. Look it up. Look it up. Look, look it, it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. I'm looking up right now. Yeah. But, but. Uh, we bro. say that to say this, bro. It's, it's, it's a stressful, yeah, it's a wait, stressful wait, subject. Yeah. It's a, it's a sensitive subject as well because nobody ever it's speaks Chicago. on it and right. try to get okay. in the uh get any okay. positivity out of the shit either like we're not we don't say this shit to grill we don't say this shit to grill shit we don't say this shit to grill our race we say this because it, it feels like in the time today that we're living in motherfuckers don't give a fuck but my thing is why can't we make each other rich why is that such a bad thing with us we make nike rich it's we, we need this free box uh, we only it's only it's on, we, we only think coaches. about ourselves though yeah we all always we got that fucked up mentality of thinking of ourselves. I feel like some niggas be looking at it like I did this on my own. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna continue to do this on my own. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you when 400 years of slavery did did it. 400 plus years of slavery did a number on us. That really didn't did a number on us. Um, I'm gonna say that. This is exactly why I don't really I don't care for black films. Not not black films. I ain't gonna say black films. I'm gonna say I don't care about the films that always want to go back in history and try to tell us a story that we don't even know is 100% politically correct. That's or true. The fil- or true. That's the films that I really don't, I said politically, but that's the films that I really don't like to look at because it's like, how the fuck y'all gonna tell us, did, did y'all ancestors live in that time? Do you Are you sitting down with a motherfucker from, from 100 years ago that's telling you these stories 50 years ago, 60 years ago, telling you these stories that, that told you these stories from their visual point? We don't know if motherfuckers be psycho. Or what the fuck? But they want to tell these stories about us when they want to. The, they want the ones yeah. living it. Look, this this for instance. Huh. Let's look at our culture. We make everything hot. We make everything. everything popping. But they, but they try to tell us like, like me. I gotta cut my hair to get ahead in life. Why the fuck do I gotta cut my hair, man? I done seen motherfucker named Brad had long hair, even had you know what I'm saying, dyeing it and all that. Mm-hmm. But I, me, I gotta cut my hair. So they won't look at me as a thug. Because you're a black man. You know what I'm saying? They won't look at me as mm. I'm dangerous. But my thing is, if we had our own structure, we wouldn't have to fucking worry about that. Mm-mm. Because instead of judging me off of how way I fucking look, how about you judging me by my fucking character? That's he may not, look this way, yeah. but he ain't nothing like this. But no, we get judged by the way we fucking look. And, and, our, and our sisters, when they be putting all that shit in their hair, man, let's get, keep it true. Some of that shit do be over the top, but a lot of that shit be looking good too, though. <laughs> It be looking good too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But because they got it the same way, they're gonna ju- prejudge them like ah oh, we know she ghetto. Yeah. Just look at her hair. Yeah. No, motherfucker, maybe she creative. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Maybe I, she expressing her motherfucking self. I get that shit everywhere though. Because y'all know I'm always fitted capped up. I always got a hat on. We made fitted caps hot. Yeah, we made fitted caps. Like we did. So so wherever I go, you know, so I'm normally got a fitted cap on, got a t-shirt on because I love t-shirts, I'm always out. When I'm when I'm going to the stores, whatever the fuck, and I get people looking at me crazy when I open doors for people, when I say thank you, when I say have a good day, when I say how you doing, like people look at me crazy for that because they're like, yeah, hey, you don't look like the type of nigga that that is, that is, I'm gonna stop saying nigga. You don't you don't look like the type of man, black man in character that would say some shit like that. But I was taught respect. My mom taught me respect. My dad taught me respect. So about respect. Yeah, it's about respect. It's about how you was raised. It would be pissing me off. Like I work in like nursing home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I treat the elders differently. Even though they was the ones back in the day calling us niggers. Mm -hmm. But I treat them differently. So I hold I might hold doors. Even if they on the can, they taking that goddamn time to get to the door. I hold my door. What pisses me off when you go that door and you don't say thank you. 
that gets me because some because I didn't see one. I, it's been a time where I didn't hear the door open mm. and I and I and I've seen them up. It was an old, old person coming through and, and you know some different race. I let that motherfucker go because of, because of what the last motherfucker did. But I, I was like, all right, maybe you know, what I'm saying the next person ain't gonna ain't gonna be rude like that. But yeah. nah, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Nigga, I'm not I'm not motherfucking the butler. Yeah. I'm a whole no guy. Man, fuck you. If it's one something for my people, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Be like, cause y'all, y'all be over here like I'm the door, man. Like I'm supposed to do this shit. Mm. Motherfucker. And then it's been time when motherfucker walk in there and I hope throwing it inside. I said, nigga, thank you. I'm gonna say you welcome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, oh, 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 thank you. Yeah, motherfucker. I should have to act I shouldn't have the right for you for you to acknowledge that I helped the story and I but, didn't have to. But then you the problem because you said something. But I'm the, you're the, the angry. I'm the angry. You, you, don't wrong. Know, you're the you don't know manners, so I'm the problem. I'm the, you don't I'm know the, manners. I'm the angry black man. All right. All right. I'm the angry black man because oh, all right. I did that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> shit, that's what I'm saying, bro. That should be drink. Bro, this should be bring me to a dark. You place, gotta, but, but sometimes you gotta yeah. give motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt for their ignorance. Cause it's, it's especially, especially, especially with that. That's because that, your ass, your ass be wild. If, if you got, if you got, if you got some type of mental shit that way, like, you good one day. And good. Okay, I understand that. Yeah. Well, a lot of you motherfuckers be cool, and y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. So fuck y'all. I'm holding you accountable, bitch. It don't matter. That's what that's what we love. Like, speak, I don't care, man. And you like, talk that real shit, man. Be so. Like people that got gold grills, hey man, don't be afraid of your goddamn gold grills. Let me show them. Like, Sign your shit, dude. Show your goddamn gold, goddamn grill, cause they look at oh, yeah, he's a thug, he's a thug. But look at one of the. I still the, need to give look, me a grill, at, man. And, and 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 check this out. I have one. I lost. I think what's his name? Scotty ATL. Who's that? Who got a grill he's shop so now? And I think I don't know if it's. In, I think it's in Texas. He got a grill shop, or it's in Atlanta. It's one of the two. He from Florida. Okay. You know that like, he got. The, they do like solid gold. Mm -hmm. Go support him. No support because a lot of you motherfuckers always go to Johnny Dang. It's it's fine, but you see, other people know our culture, and they ain't afraid to profit off of it. Mm -hmm. But when your fellow black man or sister yeah try to uh profit off our culture, y'all don't want to fuck with them. No, they look, why? Just look down upon. Why? For some reason. Like if it like say our people open up a a, a chicken shack. Yeah, we don't want to fuck with them. We want to go to chicken shack. But y'all go to them other motherfuckers. Y'all go to them other motherfuckers who ain't got no brothers or sisters as the owner of the chicken shack. But y'all love their chicken. They got our recipe, but they they, they love their chicken. If y'all understand, if y'all understand what he's talking about, if y'all would look at Popeyes, we love to fuck out some Popeyes, right? Then we think the lady, but, but, the lady was that shit. Yeah, she don't. The lady in the commercial does not even own Popeyes, bro. Do y'all know who own Popeyes? Mm -hmm. Y'all do your own fucking research and look up who actually owns Popeyes. You're gonna be like, whoa. Okay, then who the fuck making new recipes? Do your research. You know they get the recipes from. <laughs> but we love us some motherfucking Popeyes. We do. We love niggas us. Niggas is fighting over chicken sandwiches. Over chicken sandwiches. Overrated chicken sandwiches. A day, a week, a month, a year. We don't give a fuck. Niggas was dying over chicken sandwiches. Motherfucker. That's, that's right now. I can go get in the line. Ain't no line. And I can get a chicken sandwich. But who made the chicken sandwich hot? I'm sorry, I didn't see that. I never saw the big deal about killing somebody over a chicken sandwich. Who there's made never the chicken no, sandwich I mean, hot? There's cool. never enough. That there should never be enough anger in your body to where you kill somebody over some food. I don't care if they cut you off. I don't care if a nigga cuts cuts you out. You should never be that mad but, when you but, gotta but, shoot but somebody over some goddamn food, bro. We made them chicken sandwiches hot. Yeah, we made it so hot. Yeah. Well, I stay at. I'm saying the birds a little bit. Well, I stay at. The line was full of white folks wanting them chicken sandwiches. Motherfucking chicken sandwiches. That's why. You, that's why I don't. don't see. That's, that's why I don't see. understand why black people cut themselves so short. Because it's the shit. It's the shit we don't see. Like y'all, y'all just don't know how much power no, 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 no. we really do. Guys. It ain't the shit we don't see. It's the shit that they show on the on the fucking news. That's what on the news. It was in the black communities, the black neighborhoods that these Popeyes was being overran and the lines was out the window. We didn't get no no video of motherfuckers in the suburb, in the in the burbs. Yeah, we didn't get them motherfuckers that had the same lines that we line, did. Them lines was crazy over there. Yeah. Because why? We boosted that shit up. Exactly. We made fucking, the fucking news yeah. want to post what they want to post. They're going to do that. If y'all don't understand that shit by now, it's 2021. Like, then there's it, something wrong with you. Like, when it comes to Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, I ain't going to lie, Chick-fil-A, that's it. Chick fil A, Chick -fil -A, Chick -fil -A good. Hey, so oh, Chick -fil -A Chick -fil -A good. speaking of hey, speaking of media, the church is, church. hey, that's us. That's us. 
We need to. Y'all speaking of media and shit, though. I love church, man. Give me a 20 piece, dog. I get a 20 piece for $5. Go ahead, Ryder. Right, go ahead, Ryder. Right, <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> why, bro. Anyway, speaking of media, speak, speaking of the media, though. Yeah. Uh, y'all, y'all say, all right, the reason why we hate each other is because of the media. It's because of the TV and how they portray us. Yeah. Why we see each other. Yeah. But the thing is, that's, the even, fuck, that's, even, that's even, another fucked up thing. Even if we know that's not true, why are we feed into it? The, because the we don't have to feed into it. We don't have to, but the visual is more the effective. Other people See, can, we the watch other TV people every can, day, though. The other yeah. people can do what they want to do and judge us how they want to judge us, but let's not do that to ourselves because we know that. Mm. We know we ain't that way. We know if we're going off, something happened to make us go off. Yeah. It, it's like cases that some people have mental illness and they just, you know what I'm saying, just blow the fuck up or they be on drugs. But we know how a motherfucker, like, say, so you know a nigga named Clarence. Clarence is cool, calm, and collective. Yeah. But Clarence just blow up, and then they filmed the blow up. You be like, hold on now. Something had to happen with Clarence. What to the fuck this happened for when he blew up like that? Because I didn't been around this yeah. nigga, and I didn't been around when he it was like the calmest of the calm, even in a bad situation. Again, you know what I'm saying? But he just all of a sudden blew up. That's because he been dealing with. Oh no, hold on. We better end it. But it's been happening because <laughs> it's been, it happened because. He been dealing with the shit for so long that he tired of it. And boom, he blow up. And boom, he blow up. Man, good went mm. took it. Look, we towards the end of the show. man. Look, Drunk Man Sunday, man, look. Hey, bro. <laughs> we try to go as long as long. We, usually, usually we would not use the bathroom till we end the show. Yeah. But, shit, nigga, we be cooking, bro. <laughs> we be cooking and it be going on and on and on and on. And it's like, I told y'all, I told y'all it was gonna be a difference when we got in in the actual stool. When we when we yeah. right next to each other, how the shit was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? And, and of course, we gotta cut some down on these episodes because you know what I'm saying. Attention span is like nah, ha. niggas ain't got long attention spans. I we'd be lucky if they make it to the hour, bro. Hey. We'd be lucky if they make it Dude, to the hour. Sound like a broken record. Yeah, I mean, we lucky to get to the hour, <laughs> but he he coming mm-hmm. back and then uh. Man, look. <laughs> but usually, but usually, we, usually when we do that type of shit, we could cut our cameras off. But we live and still. Uh, <laughs> but this is what we're gonna do. Normally, I wait to yeah, the end we, of the show. Yeah, Let me yeah, tell yeah. you something. Go we ahead. drinking. Normally, when we're filming, we're not drinking. So this yeah. shit running through me. But at the same time, it it is what it is. If if the show got to extend, the show got to extend. Yeah, but we giving y'all these gems, and y'all need to take some notes but, and understand what the fuck we talking about. But, but we towards the end, bro. You made that shit feel awkward. <laughs> I did. I, 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 try, I, try, I tried to get you to like, nigga, no! Like, nah, man. We're going to talk our shit because it's some more shit we got to cover. We've been on long enough. We have been on long. On, 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 yeah, on, 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 on about the shit. Next episode drops let's Friday. Let's go ahead. Uh, Is there anything else y'all want to talk to the people about uh, nah, that we cover, man, man? I just... Black people, we just do better. That's all I add. Let's just do better, man, man. Uh, Shout out to everybody that fuck with us because we fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag get out your chest podcast. We in the stew. We lie. Shout out lie. to the Diz family. Yes, sir. Um, go ahead, close this up, Chris. Mm-hmm. Shit, Rhino, you got anything else you want to say? Uh, shout out to uh, the R Word music, uh, Ronnie. Ronnie Woodson, sorry you couldn't be on here. Um, we setting up everything up on this in the, in the studio and we got to make sure everything was all clear and crystal and clear. And shout out to our organic, organically uh, author podcast and my boy Dennis Dennis Perez. And I'm gonna have more cryptocurrency for you guys, knowledge for you guys to share. And that's about it. Take it away. Keep it on that. Uh, keep it on that. Go live while we eat. We about to go get some burgers. Hey, look, look. <laughs> it's Sunday fun day, bro. Y'all know how it is. We be drinking. We be doing our thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, shout out, shout out to him. He will be on the show. Um, not this upcoming episode on Friday, but he will be on the next episode. He was gonna come on today, but we had some technical difficulties, so we will yeah. have him on. Shout yeah. out to him. We've been able to listen to his music and everything, so we're gonna have him on. Question him a little bit about you know what's going on. We do do. We love the artists. We love having the artists come on, but we open up to everybody, man. If you draw, if you, if you drive cars, if you whatever the hell you do, whatever's your profession, 
Nigga, we'll let her have you on the show, man. We got you, bro. Yeah, we let her have you on the show, bro. We Anybody, got Everybody, our platform is open for those open. who fuck with us. It's open. We got sports talk. We got motivational Mondays. We got motivational Fridays. Shit, if you just want to come on just to shoot the shit with us, that's what hey, these you are. Know, you want to talk some shit. If you got something you want to get shit. off your chest, we'll just talk. Get off your chest. Get it off your chest. If you're tired of your baby mama trip and you want to get off your chest, God damn it, come on and get it off your chest. <laughs> Shout out to the blackjit.com, man. Hit that slash off your chest, man. Go get y'all some merch. Summer's coming up. You got to have your skin looking right because you're about to show a little bit more of it. So make sure y'all do that, man. Go buy y'all some merch. Go buy y'all some products. Take care of yourself, man. Yeah. But we're going to get up on up out of here. You Let know, go. if y'all want to check us out, man, hit us up everywhere. Is Get It Off Your Chest podcast. Get It Off Your Chest podcast everywhere. everywhere. We're everywhere. You yeah. hashtag it. You put it in. We'll pop up. So make sure y'all check us out. Like I said, the last four videos we done had has been crazy. Five videos we done had has been crazy. Yeah. So um, hit us up, man. Get off your chest podcast, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever all the that, fuck. Hey. All that shit. And uh, I use our line that nigga stole from us. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a Pay friend. Pay homage, y'all. Come on now. Come on, man. Get off your chest podcast, man. Me, Terry, host of the show. The boy, CJ. I know. And we out this motherfucker. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind, pop to get it off your chest. You got it on your mind.